Hello viewers, welcome to my channel of biotechnology tutorial and research lab. I am a student professor Dr. Shreya Fusain, <coughs> obtained my PhD in biotechnology behind University of Japan. Today my lecture topic is very interesting. This topic is bioethanol fuel production from rot and fruits biomasses and its implementation as biopower. <coughs> we can see here different types of the fruit biomasses, mango, mango fruits biomasses or rotten mango and bananas, rotten bananas biomasses and also the dates biomasses, different types of fruit biomasses. These fruit biomasses can be converted to the biopower or biovarage. Let's see Bioethanol fuel production from fruits biomass and its suitable properties identification and implementation in fertile engine. This is the title details of my lecture today. This is the bottle, this is the bioethanol, image of bioethanol. Objectives of research to produce bioethanol as alternative energy from fruit waste <coughs> like banana, pineapple, mango and dates, different types of coming after fermentation process or fermentation technology. To determine the percent of bioethanol produced from fruit biomasses, to investigate the composition of trace elements and physical properties like viscosity, acid value in the bioethanol produced, which is appropriate for petrol engine. To reduce the emission of environmental greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, hydrocarbon, carbon monoxide, and sulfur dioxide. To clean the environment and use effectively the fruit waste as waste management and recycling process. Background of research The use of renewable energy is a better chance to have share of energy with bioenergy from non fossil energy sources and it surely decrease the fossil fuels consumption. The global warming issue is caused by using excessive fossil fuels. Renewable clean energy and my resources full are required for the sharing with fossil fuels to reduce the carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, carbon monoxide emissions. Rodji and uh, Josie 2010, they uh, reported this. Biothanol is a form of renewable energy that has been produced from common agricultural feedstock as the sugar can, potato, pineapples and maize from the middle of last century. Nafis, Hussain and Fazlini, 2000, Nazafi, 2009, and Hussain and Fazlini, 2010. The share of <coughs> bioethanol which is produced by fermentation process has been increased from 3.7% to 5.4% from 2007 to 2008. Deaths, death farms are the most successful and important subsistence food in Arab region as well as arid and semi-arid regions of the world. Dates are rich in certain nutrients and high carbohydrate and fats. So present status of the bioethanol you can see here. One company is Norway. They offer 5% bioethanol to generate konjuma. You can see here the and this is benzene 95 this is uh, five percent bioethanol they use <coughs> now it is now now they are using five percent bioethanol in combination with uh, ethanol means octane so this is uh, called benzene 95 see also you can see a e5 five percent and address by ethanol 95% petrol used. E10 
10% and hydrogen bi-ethanol 90% petrol. HE 15 15% hydrogen bi-ethanol 85% petrol. So this is nowadays people are using in different countries. E25 25% hydrogen bi-ethanol 75% petrol. So this is the uh, data <coughs> nowadays the um, people are using in many countries my ethanol is widely used in the us and brazil my fuels provided 1.8 percent of the world transport fuel in 2008 investment into biofuels production capacity exceeded 4, 4 billion worldwide in 2007 and is growing <coughs> National Environmental Program 2009, they reported this. Brazil produced 15.9 billion liters of bioethanol in 2005, more than one third of the world supply and second only to the United States. Brazil bioethanol is the only large scale biofuel program now able to expand without government subsidies. US bioethanol from corn is contrast is heavily subsidized in germany and brazil we can see a bioethanol e85 is produced car runs by the biofuels by the biopowers and also the biofuel petrol stations they use and this is the fruit biomasses materials and methods here rotten banana, mango, pineapples and the dead fruits. My MSc student used this, this type of materials and they did their experiment and they completed their master's, masters having these topics. From attention, the research was on bioethanol productions by fermentation process by using yeast, saccharomyces cerevisiae. Seeds are separated from the pulp and grounds Pulps are blended in a blender and pulps placed or collected and then poured into the scotch bottles at different temperature and pH. We can see here for maximum 5 days. Parameters determined. Different temperatures, water content, pH, yeast concentration, concentration and time is days where are studied separately. Ethylene and glucose content. Ethylene was determined by the reading the Absorption of 575 nm is per meter. Is that and comparing it to the ethanol standard graphs? For when the percentage of the bioethanol was calculated, the glucose content was determined by digital refractometer. So then we can see chemical analysis and engine test, viscosity, acid value, metal content, and engine performance, and emissions were determined using photon version car engine. We can see the fruit skin, seed, residues for bioethanol production. This is different types of mangoes, mango fruits. This is the banana fields and the, this is the, uh, this is uh, the deaths, deaths uh, biomasses. This is the image of uh, fermentations. You can see here <coughs> the working process. Yeah, this is the uh, grinded seeds, and this is the rotten dates, rotten dates, and then blender, blended, and the produced. Uh, this is the uh, filtrations, squat bottom during fermentations, and then here you can see the fermentations and the filtrations, raw bioethanols, raw bioethanols uh, produced. The result, the effect of different parts of the fruits on the concentration of bioethanol, total solubles and pH of banana mesh. So, from this experiment, you can see a skin, pulp, and mixer, both. <coughs> so, you can see a total solubles rate initial after. Initially, it was higher, and after it was uh, reduced, and the highest TSS was found in pulp. And pH 
this shell which uh, it was fine in case of all the uh, parameters and then after it was reduced you can see here first day second and th uh, third day and fifth day though it was a little bit higher uh, in fifth, day, fifth days then first and third days by the concentrations uh, from banana here also you can see here Concentration of yeast, yeast different, yeast uh, pH different, oh, in different days, soluble solids and pH in different first day, third day, and fifth day. Different initial after, initial it, it was higher than after, and then uh, it was uh, first day, it was higher than uh, third and fifth days. So we can see here the pH initially. It was same, and after that, uh, the first day it was a little bit higher than third and fifth days. <coughs> From the of biothermal concentration of fermented banana, that's a different pH statement. A different pH, you can see it is a little bit higher, 5.88 in case of phase 5, then phase 4 and phase 6. Then we can see here. Uh, Composition of biothermal concentrations from fermented banana. That's a different concentration of yeast: two gram, three gram, and four grams. So the, the highest concentration was found at four gram per liter. You <coughs> can see here at different temperature, different temperature 23, 30, and 35. So initial after it was uh, found. The biothermal uh, total soluble solute and pH also same almost. It will be higher in, in case of 23, uh, 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 35, in case of 35 degrees centigrade, and also uh, so total soluble solutes also higher uh, in 15.45, and it was 11.53 uh, in the case of 35 degrees centigrade. So, comparison of biothermal production with fermented banana uh, while shaking hours. This is 0 hours, 3 hours, and 6 hours. So, this is an uh, increasing trend. 6 hours it was higher, then 3, and, uh, 3 hours and 0 hours, shaking times. You can see comparison of biothermal concentration and glucose concentration in different fermentation period. When we can see when biothermal uh, when glucose was decreasing, biothermal was uh, when glucose was increasing, biothermal was decreasing trend. Then decreasing trend. Trend. You can see the different metal uh, elements concentrations. Uh, so we can see a uh, lead and acids and also other concentrations. It was under the standard. There is some. Uh, was higher actually maybe due to the, some toxic or some uh, this is called the experimental error but it is under the standard so original discussion experiment 2 python from pineapples you can see here before it was uh, from uh, banana this one from pineapples skin pulp and mixer so pulp in case of pulp it was higher then skin and mixture you can see here raw biotons it was skin pulp mixer it was a uh, higher in pulp and ph also it been higher and also so total soluble is also higher you can see in case of pulp <coughs> then the thermal products of ph 456 456 it was uh, higher in case of four then uh, uh, then in phase 5 and 6 you can see a concentration of the yeast 1 gram, 2 grams and 3 grams it was higher in uh, the 3 grams than 1 and 2 grams so you can see here showing the pH of uh, total soluble solid and density of the parameters yeast before after 
also it has a little bit higher in the five blocks okay. and a little bit uh, and also you can see here if and after and also the uh, residues you can see here less in three grams and less in uh, five gram per liter so temperature if at 28 30 and 32 degrees centigrade uh, it was found the highest one at 33 degrees centigrade rot and fresh and rot and fresh it was found the highest in the rotten fruits compared to the fresh one time hours different times 24 uh, 0, 24, 48, 72, 28, 20 hours. In different hours, it is uh, increasing 10 up to 72. Increasing and then, then it was decreasing uh, until 48, and then it was decreasing times. So, results of discussion explain 3 by 1 from mango waste. You can see mango peel, skin, pulp, and mixture also. It was higher in the pulp than peel and mixture. Also, 30 degree at 33 degree centigrade it was the highest by the yield compared to other tools uh, temperature. So, in case of others, you can see by the yield determination, different amount of yeast 1 gram, 3 grams, 5 grams. It was, it was the highest uh, in 3 gram per liter compared to the 1 and 5 1 gram, 1 and 5 gram per liter. In different days, 1, 3, 5. It was higher at uh, five days uh, compared to uh, three and one days. So you can see a different temperature, 20, uh, 23, 30, and 35. It was higher a little bit higher in 35 at 35 degrees centigrade, but there is no not uh, before and after. So this is a different temperature of PS, PS measurement or this is PS measurement this one after you can see here so after it was lowest because ethanol uh, is acidic that's why PS uh, become uh, uh, down or low you can see a viscosity and acid value <coughs> 1, 3 and 5, uh, 5 gram per liter the viscosity and 5.385 it was a little bit higher uh, then other tools and acid will also it was under standard so we see here full consumptions and we also have emissions uh, standard for uh, standard 100 uh, percent gasoline 5 percent ethanol 95 percent 10 percent 95 90 percent so this we can see here you have carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur sulfur dioxide nitrous oxide hydrocarbon full consumptions it was standard it was a little bit higher but in the full consumption less also uh, literally there is the five percent is around ten percent so the, it is got uh, oh, we have got positive positive result uh, and so it is very good emissions found so also 20 30 40 and 50 six persons water percent in different water percent also by the eight from dates of the dates by mass you can see here it has increasing tent uh, different pH also 5.8 at 5.8 it was uh, the yield was higher uh, different yeast level 4 gram per liter it was the highest and then different days uh, at 4 days it was uh, the highest by the yield and then 100 percent 5 percent 10 percent you can see here 100 percent it was a sulfur dioxide that was the others under cover the other two is less but it was uh, working or it means uh, 5% ethanol 95% gasoline 10% ethanol uh, 95% gasoline by ethanol so this is we use the waste product uh, at least 5% 10% uh, we have saved the energy and you know gas emissions then you can see the different types of uh, fuel consumption also and for consumption it will be higher 100 percent gasoline compared to others you can see here emission different type of emission also it will be higher in 100 percent gasoline on the other other two yeah engine showing the engine emissions tested for the malaysia car 
and did in the emission test and then we, we, we did it and uh, properly and and got the positive result conclusion it can be concluded that by thermal having standard quality can be produced from west banana mango pineapple and dates at the substrate the vitamin from the west dates are higher than other fruits by mass by mass is also safe for use in the petrol engine and it did not start in any unwanted metal elements it use lead to a lower fuel consumption and reduce emissions of the environmentally unfriendly gases carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide hydrocarbon and nitrous oxide this study showed that biothermal produce from uh, food by uh, food waste this could help to clean the environment from waste by recycling it has the potential to overcome the future problem of the depletion of the fossil fuel with the uh, creation of a renewable bioresource energy by a biothermal production so this is the all about uh, thank you very much for our uh, for our uh, for watching and listening and subscribing our channel